Hi there, once again welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how we can blend two images together. So this is a sunset background and then I blended it with a tiger. The same process was used to actually achieve this. So this is a forest and I blended it. And you can see a tiger at the background of this. You can see a tiger at the background of this forest. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. I got all my images from pezos.com. You can easily go there and then download. So let's jump right into action and see how to do that. But before that, remember to like, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. So let's go ahead and drag the two images that we we'll use for this design. Let's drag them to Photoshop. So I'll just go and then I have them within download. These are the two images, the sunset and then the tiger. I'll just drag them to Photoshop. So these are the two images I'm going to use, the sunset and then the tiger. So we're going to use the two to do that. So we have to drag the tiger on top of what the sunset. Okay, so first you need to unlock this. So go to your layer panel, double click on the background to remove the lock. So I'll double click and then I have to click on OK to unlock this. And now with my move tool selected, I can drag this and then drop it on top of the sunset. Now you can resize this and then until you are comfortable with the size you want to use. So let's just drag this out in order to increase the size. So yes, be okay with the size you want. I think this size is okay for me. I can press enter or just click on the check icon over here to confirm this. I'm okay with this and we can easily reduce the opacity of this to also confirm the blend mode. So from the layer panel, anytime you select a layer and at the top of the layer, we have the opacity which is by default 100%. I can select and then just reduce this and you can see this is quite good but I want to use a better way to achieve this. So we also have an option for blending where we have normal by default. So we can select that and then you can switch between the blend mode. Okay, we have several blend mode and the one I use is the overlay. There's also hard light which is quite okay. So let's select hard light and we'll later change it to overlay. So now we have this and we've managed to blend this with the background but we can make it look even better. If you look at the final work over here, I use the overlay. So now we have to use the eraser tool and then brush the edges to in order to blend the tool. So you go to your tools bar and then you have to select what the eraser tool and then make sure your hardness is what zero and then for the size you can increase it to any size you want depending on how well you want to blend the edges. You can use a square bracket to increase or reduce. The right will increase and then the left will reduce it. So I will just increase to the size that I feel I'm comfortable with. And I'll start clicking at the edge to just to blur the edges of this particular what image. Okay. So I'll do something like this until maybe I'm comfortable with how my image is looking. Okay. So that is what I'm doing now. I'll just blur the edges and like I said, you can do it any way you want. So with the move to selected, if this is not big enough, I can still resize. You can see this is already looking okay. I'm okay with the size. I'll just confirm this. Now, the best way I think this will work for me is to use the overlay. You can see how the overlay effect is going to appear. And I'll select this and then change the, my blend mode from the hard light and then I'll select overlay. So I can see the overlay made this even appear better. So this will allow you to blend any image at all like this and it will work for just any image. So I even use the forest with the tiger and it's work perfectly. So try this and then like, subscribe and turn on post notification for more videos like this and other IT related videos. Leave a comment at the comment section and let's get interactive. Till I come away again, remember to always visit my channel and also subscribe. Bye bye.